Hi, I'm Bob Power, and we're pleased to be joined today by Steve Miller, CEO of Communities First Financial Corporation, which trades on our OTCQX best market under the symbol CFST. Steve, welcome, and thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Bob. It's good to be here. Great. Hey, talk about the profile of Communities First Financial and its core demographic and customer base. Yeah, um, Communities First, we're known locally as Fresno First Bank. Um, we're a Central Valley bank uh, located here in Fresno, California. I think a lot of people would assume uh, we would be an ag-based bank. Um, and although agriculture is an important part of the supply chain here for the whole valley, uh, we consider ourselves, you know, a, a true blue uh, community business bank um, where we'd like to say that we're focused on the business and the wealth of the business owners. And our, our unique thing is that we're a, a single branch in a single market. So we're probably one of the largest branches in the country. Um, we really like to leverage um, technology, um, but you know, try to be as customer centric as possible. Thank you. And talk about how you're positioned as a progressive community bank and some of the things that you're doing there. Yeah, I think you know, first and foremost, you know, the advantage of a community bank, um, if you're doing your job correctly, is that you need to be in the market and and have knowledge of the market. Um, and I think that we do a good job of trying to stay as close as possible to the action, um, whether that's, you know, very traditional businesses that exist here or else some of the new things that are happening. So, you know, what businesses are starting up, what trends that we see um, and what do they look like? Um, we're situated between L.A. and San Francisco, so we get a lot of overflow from the tech industry and things like that, which is, you know, hopefully going to be a game changer for the Valley going forward. Um, but I think we really look at Again, that technology piece. Um, personally, we all feel that <clears throat> fintech's a misused name, but the changes in technology that are affecting banking, um, we think it's going to be, you know, the big revolution that we've already seen, but it's going to continue to put pressure on banks um, to change and to migrate into that over the next, you know, five, 10, 15 years. Um, one of those examples is in crowdfunding. Mm -hmm. um, we have a partnership with a group <clears throat> in uh, out of San Francisco who's doing equity-based crowdfunding um, and we're acting, uh, we call it hybrid equity crowdfunding where they raise the equity funds through a partner. That partner presents that company to us so we can come in with traditional financing a little bit sooner than what a normal community bank would do. And it allows us to beat our competition because we can come in in year one, two, instead of traditionally waiting for three years of profit. Steve, how do you leverage technology to your advantage in the local banking space? Yeah, Bob, we, I mean, we truly consider that technology has is, is become the great equalizer kind of in the banking space and really allows a small community bank like us to compete with either larger peers or even some of the bigger banks in the market. We can pretty much offer all the same products and services through these online channels. Uh, Steve, talk about how being traded on OTCQX for banks helps enhance your company's visibility and positioning in the marketplace? Uh, well, you know, I look at OTC very similar to us. You know, it's a it's a, a high-tech business, um, but also has a very high touch to it. So, you know, being a part of, um, you know, uh, uh, something like this where I get a chance to kind of talk about our bank that's going to go across, uh, you know, nationally um, and give us access to maybe investors that weren't, that we weren't on their radar. Um, and I think that, you know, over the last couple of years since trading, uh, you know, our shares are up about 80 percent. Um, now, obviously, um, we have to execute our plan and we have to perform. Uh, but to be on a platform like OTC where we can sh uh, showcase that performance um, and really highlight what uh, what the strengths of the, banks are, the bank is through just normal trading volumes and things like that, um, but also interactions like this. Um, we did a, a you know, an uh, an online investor conference uh, with OTC last year. Um, so I, I think that platform is just very beneficial to us um, and to help tell our story in a more efficient manner. OTCQX for banks is such an important part of our market. We're delighted to feature your bank today and we wish you continued success. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Bob.